Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I beg to move. Uh, uh, okay, you may say that, but you should hear Jean Claude Juncker's voice as a result of our conversation. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I beg to move the motion in the, on the order paper in my name and that of my right honourable friends. It has been eight weeks since this House held the meaningful vote on the Brexit deal. On that day, Parliament sent a message the deal needed to change. In response, the Government has worked hard to secure an improved deal that responded to the concerns of this House. I took the concerns of this House about the backstop to the EU, sat down with President Juncker and President Tusk. I spoke to every single EU leader, some on multiple occasions, to make clear to them what needed to change. My right honourable friend, the Secretary of State for exiting the European Union, worked tirelessly with his opposite number, Michel Barnier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My right honourable friend, the Attorney General, engaged in detailed legal discussion with the, his counterparts in the European Commission. The result of this work is the improved Brexit deal that is before the House today. I will go on to explain in detail what has improved about the deal since January and why I believe it deserves the support of every member this evening. But first, I'll give way to them. It isn't one of the problems the House faced in the previous session with the Attorney General that we were seeking legal answers to what were essentially political questions? And the political question that we now face is that if we don't pass this um, motion, we stand to lose Brexit in its entirety. The gentleman makes a very important point. A lot of focus has been put on legal changes, and I'll come on to the fact that there are legally binding changes as a result of the discussion since uh, the House's vote on the 29th of January. Um, but, uh, if you're, I'll just complete this. My, uh, but the right honourable gentleman is absolutely correct. The danger for those of us who want to deliver, to have faith with the British public and deliver on their vote for Brexit, is that if this, uh, if this vote is not passed tonight, if this deal is not passed, then Brexit could be lost. I'll give way to my honourable friend. Thank my honourable friend for giving way. Um, she may have slightly lost her voice, but is it not true that were we to have a second referendum, 17 and a half million people would have lost their voice? Yes. Can I, can I say to my, my honourable friend, will not be surprised, given what he's heard me say from this dispatch box before, that I entirely agree with him. I believe it is absolutely imperative for this House that we meet the uh, decision that was taken by the British people in June 2016, that we deliver on that referendum uh, and that we deliver Brexit for the British people. And as I say, there is a danger uh, with a failure to agree a deal that actually could end.